Hello, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to show you how to mine dark coins. Uh, so first thing you want to do is you want to go to ReviewOutlaw.com. Uh, also provide a direct link in the show notes, but you're going to go to how to mine dark coins. Um, so a little bit quickly what dark coins is. It's an alt cryptocurrency, um, a lot like bitcoins but it has um, more kind of an anonymous um, kind of built into, baked into the, the coin itself. So it's uh, where Bitcoin can be traced very easily where it's going back and forth. Dark coins um, kind of a, a little bit more privacy orientated. So um, it's a CPU coin, but it can also be um, graphics card or GPU mined. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, CPU coin mine it and GPU coin mine it. So first thing you want to do uh, is disable your antivirus. Reason for that is if you actually download the, the dark coin wallet or the mining software it's going to pick it up as a virus. Um, I'll just actually show you right here. I get a link to the wallet and if I go here to download it Norton comes up saying it's not safe <laughs> and it automatically deletes it. So the first thing we're going to do is just disable um, Norton, whatever your antivirus is. Go for about an hour. Disable that. Um, so now we can actually download the wallet. So to get the late latest version I would just recommend going right to Darkcoin's website. Um, go to download, get your OS, and download, download the wallet. Alright, so now uh, it's not going to auto uh, remove like it did before. So it should just go through and install. I already have it installed here. And I, as you can see, I got a couple coins already mined uh, with the software. So we know it works. Two coins here. Um, so what we want to do now is we want to get the receive address where we're going to receive the coins into. So you're going to go to receive. This is your address here. You're going to right click on that and hit copy address. So now we've copied the receive address. Next thing we want to do is we want to get this uh, simple CPU mining software installed. Um, I provided a couple different links, Dropbox, zip file, the installer. Install is a little bit easier, so I just recommend downloading the installer. Um, the zip file will work too, but it won't auto start up with Windows. So you'd have to manually start it up every time uh, you restart your computer. So on this we're going to click more info and run anyway. What that is saying is it's not a program that's run a lot so Windows doesn't know what it is. So we're going to hit run anyway. And now you want to just go through and hit next, next, next and install the software. I've already installed it so I'm just going to cancel that. And once it's installed you're going to get a, something like this that shows up. What you want to do is you want to go down here and you want to find dark coin. So now that you've found the, the coin, um, we actually want to just test make sure it, it, it works. So we're actually going to put in that address we copied before. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to paste my address in there. So you want your address to go into the receive coin address. That's step one. Then we're going to go over here. Make sure that start program invisible is unchecked. We're going to run it idle and not idle, so running the software 24 7, and we're going to hit run. Next, a DOS screen should pop up. It did, um, and it's starting to mine right here. So that means everything's working properly. This is accepted, that's great, so it's working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this now. Um, basically, I'm going to go back to settings. Now what I like to do is just run it in the background so I change this to idle so when I'm not using the system and walk away for a minute it's going to start mining so I choose idle I'm going to run it invisibly and then I'm going to just double check and verify that that is my receive address which it is um, and now you can save that and now you can hit run. So what's the as you can see Donald here is mining away. Um, so when I walk away from my computer it's going to start mining, come back, shake the mouse, it's going to stop mining. Um, it'll run 24-7 and um, you know as long as, the, as long as I leave my computer on it's going to run. So let's see what else we have here. 
Um, okay, we do want to exclude this from the scans. As soon as your Norton comes back on and does its scan, it's going to remove all the uh, mining software in the wallet. So what we're going to do, is I'm going to show you on Norton. It might be a little bit different for your particular antivirus. Um, you can do some Google searches and see how to do it. But basically, it's going to be you want to exclude a certain folder from the scans. And the folder we want to exclude from the scans is this C program files folder right here. So you're going to browser to it, and it's going to be under C program files, and it should be called mine miner. Here it is, right here, miner. So we're going to check off that. I'm going to exclude that. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to exclude it from the scans, which I already have, and you want to exclude it also from auto protect. Add folder, put the folder in, exclude. I already have, so that's good. So um, now that I've excluded it, you can re-enable re your antivirus, and it shouldn't uh, fight the mining software at all. Um, what I do want to show you here is also the the GPU or, or graphics uh, way to mine it. You can GPU and CPU mine simultaneously, um, and it should should mine just fine. As far as performance. Um, if you have a good graphics card, generally you're going to get more coins with a graphics card um, than you know, just CPU mining, depending on your chip and everything like that. But uh, if you have a good graphics card, I would recommend GPU mining also. So I'm going to show you this software. It's very similar, just a black icon instead. So you're going to download it, install next, next, next. It's going to pop up. You're going to go down here to dark coin. You're going to paste in your address. Oops. <laughs> okay. Paste that address. Uh, the receive address, same one I showed you before, right under receive. And you're going to go over here to settings. You're going to just run. Make sure it runs. This one looks a little bit different. Uh, it'll say SG. It might. But it, it is mining, so that's good. Now that we know that's mining, we can hide it. We can run it when it's idle. And we can save that. And we can run. You can close the program out. It doesn't have to be running in the background. And then when you walk away, it'll start mining. Um, if you have any problems with that, that DOS window doesn't show up, follow these directions at the bottom. These uh, you need, might sometimes need a specific driver in order to get working. ATI driver 3.1. You do need an ATI video card, generally a newer card, usually in the last uh, two or three years and you need this AMD SDK pack also. So I'll give you the directions here. Just click install, next, 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 restart, and it should work on you there. So let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, also at the bottom here, you can like, tweet, send me a comment if you have any questions about anything. Um, yeah, and that's about it. I hope you like my video. Have a good one. I just wanted to say thank you for watching my video and if you have some time um, please click the subscribe button here and if you also liked it please give me the thumbs up like um, that will help my, my videos out greatly in my channel and finally you can actually um, view uh, more about my posts and videos at reviewoutlaw.com and I put a link here in the show notes. Thank you.